Right, we're at the Melbourne 4 Block 4 show. We're here with Nick from G-Works. Um, now, we're doing a monster build at the show, so we're, we're putting this vehicle together over the next three days. And one of the core components of it, you see we're looking a bit naked here, um, is we're putting a new tray on the back. Uh, now, I've, I've only seen these trays for the first time today. Um, I would say I'm an amateur fabricator. Did a lot of metal work on my race cars um, many years ago and I love metal work and everything, and, and we've got this tray, and we're gonna have a look at it in a minute. Yep. Let's let's t talk first about, you know, where, where did this idea come from, and what made you build these things? So, mate, like we've been building trays and canopies mainstream now for about three and a half, four years. Um, we started with a sheet metal product, and you know, through to evolution with us, we always wanna have that drive to be better, um, and produce better parts and more, you know, unique parts to us so um, the tray that's actually going on to this particular vehicle here today is one of our latest products uh, that was released earlier this year so it's our work and play pro series um, it's an extrusion based tray um, these are proprietary limited to uh, us at G-Works um, so we've designed it. it took about that 18 month to actually get the dies all sorted and the first mill run through and then a few minor tweaks from here and there and that's kind of where you get that finished product from today so there's a few things that we really pride ourselves on G-Works and that's the finish of the product and be able to take it from this vehicle to the next vehicle and so forth and so on. So very common that, you know, a customer can be thirty dollars to $40,000 in electrical and a canopy setup on the back of their vehicle. Now, if you were to exchange your car every two years and you would have reinvest that money every two years, it's a lot of money over a five year period, 10 year period. So, you know, if you get the foundation right with the tray and then, you know, you go from D Max to D Max, that might be your thing, cruiser to cruiser. Um, if you're going those similar like vehicles, you've got the option to take the entire tray set up across and get a you know factory tray with the, your new one and swap it over, whatever it may be. Or what we do find is a lot of people will then on sell the car with just the tray. Um, so it's a premium product on the back, it helps with your resale value and things like that. And then they'll just order another tray and then we'll just whack the old canopy straight on top. Uh, and then you know do the connections and out the door so if you're a perfectionist like a lot of guys in Australia are they want to get it dialed into that that perfect that worked for me and I don't want to change from that being able to take your canopy from vehicle to vehicle allows you to keep that you know you can just pull up to camp pop the door up crack a beer and off you go like that's you know what it comes down to really so the lighter weight product really comes from your vehicles GVMs these days so you know realistically if you're looking at a family of four um, your modern dual cab, for example, um, you're going straight to a GVM if you want to start towing a three-ton caravan. So obviously, the more we can take off that rear axle loading, the benefit comes for when you're towing and things like that. So really getting it as light and as strong as possible is always the end goal with whatever we produce. We shaved around 16 kilos out of our new tray compared to our old tray. You know, it's it really does come down to for example, if you're transferring that 16 kilos to water storage, like the water storage is more beneficial for you being off grid longer. So you'll see that there's like a track system that's actually machined into the top, but you'll notice that that's the same track that they use on the floor in the aircraft to fix this stuff down. So you've got the ability to actually move uh, your canopy to the back. So if you've got a big quad or something like that and you wanted to transport it and make sure you, your load's before the axle on the car, you can actually move it to the back bolt it back down. So you're not actually having to drill holes or anything like that in the deck. You can literally move it to where you want to go. The industry that you're in, mate, wheels and tires, you know, how often do you see a young bloke, they go, oh, I want to get a zero offset on that car and it's stupidly wide and they, how do you get it legal? Well, that was a big thing for us, um, having the adjustability in the guards to actually keep you legal. So you can bring them in when you're off road if you want to use that sidewall on the tire to really carry it. The other thing is with the way we do the mounts, um, if your chassis is, is slightly out of alignment, uh, which can happen in some vehicles, um, we do have adjustments within the mounts to actually get it to sit perfectly on your vehicle as well. So um, a 16 mil bolt basically underneath here is, is what you can get into it. That's, that's pretty much the only spanner you probably need to keep in your kit. If you want to take a toolbox off or a mud guard or anything like that. But yeah, it's all, all nice and easy. You know, it's really, I'm really, really excited to get into this. So. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to getting your feedback about it when you're using it. Yeah, so, cool. um, thank you.